Greetings fellow vendors, Mike with 720 Vending here today. We're replacing the control board on my USI combo machine I have at the hotel. I've been having some issues with this machine giving out free product and not working properly. So here's the new board. And then back behind the panel, here's the original board that I bought a year ago to make it credit card compatible. Hands off to Greenlight and Wittern. We tried replacing the card reader telemeter first, but it was still having the same problem. So, luckily enough, the board was still under warranty, so they're in, they RMA the board. I'm gonna get everything unhooked here. The board that's in the machine right now is a GBC1 blue board. While I'm getting all this unhooked, I do very much want to thank all of my subscribers. I did just pass 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. Continue to like and subscribe. And hit the bell notification. The board just unhooks from the machine. There is just some little clips that hold it on there. The top one's giving me a little bit of issues. But we eventually get it. Now this is what Wittern considers a three-wire board because the snack site does not have a drop sensor. So there's three connectors on it. Wooden still does use this board and some of their new machines that they still put out. There we go. So that board was a fourth generation board. The new one they sent me is a fifth generation board. Just give me another one prep to bring it back up over here. Here's the new board. It looks pretty, yep. exactly like the other one, but it's a new revision. Away free, free stuff, and it's that's not good. Yeah, I guess a shout out to Karen with Vennet Parts. She was very helpful. The RMA process is really easy. They'll ship you a new one. You ship the old one back. Getting the drop sensor for the soda side connected. The keyboard. And then all the motor connections. The home switches. The shelf trays. And the column wires. And then that, there's the MDB connection for the card reader, and bill acceptor, and coin mech, and then the power for the board. Yeah, this is a GVC1 fifth generation board. <laughs> Almost forgot to to put the dex port back in there, gotta have that. 
DEX port plugs in there. It's fighting me a little bit. It happens. The tight space. Got to get the bit driver to anchor the cover down. I have one of those just little bit driver kits from Walmart. Reconnect the export. Fire up the machine. Current revision number. And right now it's seeing 90 motors. So I have to go through and do a motor count. And then I'll go through and set all the prices. And this machine will be back up and running. About four days after shooting this video, I went back to the machine to check it to make sure it's working properly, and it is. With the ePort card reader. Luckily, there's, there's only about 21 items I have to set prices on. There's not like one of my machines that has 45. And if you know all your item prices, it goes pretty quick. If anybody ever has any questions on the USI machines or Dixie Nargo machines, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to help. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Now I'm working towards my next milestone of 200 subscribers. So if everyone can help, that'd be a big appreciation. I'm in programming the sodas right now. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Keep on vending.